Hello, everybody. Bill Thornton, SoCal Sabre here, and we got some baseball action today with season ticket, and it is an elimination game in my 1955 tournament. So let's get down to the field and see what's happening. This is game three, in the best of three, in the 1955 tournament. The game will be played in Memorial Stadium, and it features Cleveland visiting Baltimore in game three of this round two <clears throat> thing. So I'll bring that back up when we need it. As you can see here, so hopefully you can see it here. This is game three. So the winner will advance. The other ones can go golfing, and then the winners will be – uh, playing the winner of the Detroit Chicago uh, series, Chicago White Sox series, which Detroit currently holds a one game to nothing lead. And so on the mound for uh, Cleveland today is Bob Lemon. See, Lemon was eighteen and ten that year, three point eight eight. He pitched in the the first round game, which what they they won. Uh, let's see, who did they beat? They beat Boston in that game. Two to one and a close one. So he's back for his next start. Each, each team, I said before the first round even started, I said three starting pitcher rotation for this tournament. So here's Lemon with the second, okay? And then we'll see where we're going to put these guys today. Yeah. All right. Let's get this camera adjusted just a little bit more. I found that me holding the batter cards in the last game was a little bit better than trying to. See it down here. All right, so here we go. We got Fred Marsh. What am I talking about? This is, this is, yeah, Cleveland. I got the wrong team here. <clears throat> Pitching for Baltimore today is Jim Wilson. He pitched in their first round uh, victory over the Yankees. Uh, didn't have a great record. He was 12 and 8 with a uh, 3.44 ERA that year. So, you know, maybe he didn't get a lot of offensive support. Sometimes that happens in these pitchers. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Got the dice going here. Al Smith leading off the right fielder for Cleveland. And right away, we're going to 5-5-5. Five, five, five. So this is the uh, checking the third baseman for them, who's Wayne Causey, I believe. Causey. Right here, so we're going to five, 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 and he's out five, three. This slow roller, cause he charges, fires it over, and there's one down. Okay, here's Bobby Avila, the Cleveland second baseman today. Bobby was a good one in his day. And we got another five. This is a five oh nine. Now this is going to be a rare play already. Time out while we get the charts out. Okay, chart is ready. Got to roll the dice again. <laughs> Look at this, another five, five fourteen. What's with the fives? <clears throat> okay, here we go. This is a deep fly ball that bounces off the outfield wall and past the center fielder. Batter gets cl bases clearing triple. Okay, it says the batter must try for an inside the park home run by challenge in the center fielder's arm. If thrown out, scored an 8-4-2. All right, we're going to have a challenge right off the bat. I haven't had one of those in a while, so let me look at it. Okay, so the challenge is going to be Bobby Avila's speed, okay, which is, I already have it written up here. I don't know why I'm looking. Three, that's why I write it up there. A three <clears throat> plus the total of the three dice here. Okay, so we got 15, so that's 18. It's got to be... Greater than 10 plus the outfielder's arm. It's Chuck Deering. He's got a five arm, so it's 15. And we have just had my first inside the park home run in season ticket baseball. Go figure that one. Time out for some admin. So the Cleveland Indians are up already one and nothing when you're off the bat using the bat and the speed of their second baseman, Bobby Avila. And here comes Larry Doby, their center fielder to bat with one out, nobody on. And another five, 541. What is with these fives? Is my dice crooked or something? Okay, we're going to be checking their second baseman, which I believe is Fred Marsh. Yes, it is Fred Marsh. 
All right, so we're going to Fred Marsh 5-4-1, and that's a four. It wouldn't be a double play if there's anybody on, but we're going to go 4-3 on that one. And Al Rosen, he's got some power pop behind him. Hit 21 dingers that year. And a 1, a 63, 1, 63, and he draws the walk. Good eye by Al. You got a good stack lineup. Here comes Ralph Kiner, the left fielder. Mm -hmm. Ralph hit 18 that year also. Okay, 4, 17. And he's a righty pitcher, so we're going 4-17 versus the righty and another walk. Two walks in a row. Bob Lemon is a little bit shaken up, I guess, after that inside the park home run. Here comes Vic Wirtz, the first baseman. Two on, two outs. Cleveland looking to go ahead early here, big time. And we got a 4-20. Okay, versus the righty. 4-20, 4-20 right here. Oh, 4-3, and that's going to... Get, it, get them out. Okay, but they got one run. But they stranded two. So Baltimore coming up in the bottom of the first. And as I didn't show you before, there's a plus because it's 90 degrees out. I play in July games. It's 90 degrees. It's cloudy. The wind is calm. So the calm wind has no effect, but the heat has a plus one. <clears throat> it's all the deep if we ever have any deeps. So like I said before, here's Bob Lemon on the mound. Bob knows his team has already given up a, inside the park, and he's pitching from behind already. And here's Fred Marsh. 127 on Lemon's card. 127, and that's a ground out to second, 4-3. And the second round of the, in the tournament is a best of five. Jim Dykter, left fielder. 484, 484. We're going for against the righty though. Know, he struck him out. Wow. It would have been lefty, it would have gone deep. Big K. Dave Philly. Pretty steady player in his day. Playing right field today. Oh, 676. And they are the home team, so they get to add five onto it. So we're going to. Because you had five for the time, home team, nothing on on fatigues yet. So that was uh, 679, 684. So we're going up here to 684, and there's a base hit. No runners on, so that plus plus doesn't come into play. But the Phillies on with the base hit. This is Gus Triando. So he had a, a long, pretty long career as a catcher, but that year he played more games at first base than he did catching. Here he is. Oh, boy, I'm going all over it. we got another 6, 635, so it'll be a 640 this time. 640. And that's a fly out to center, and that's 3. No runs, one left on base. So after one, Indians are up 1-0, and they're coming to the plate again. And here we got their shortstop, George Strickland. 474, 470. 470. That's right here versus the righty. Ground out the third, 5 3. Jim Hegan, the catcher. One twenty six over there. One twenty six is another ground ball. The second picks it up, throws it over. Fourth, there's four three. Two down for the pitcher. Okay. These pitcher's cards play a little bit different than the batter cards. Okay, 376. So we're going to be going on here, 376. And then we're going to be looking at his contact rating. So Jim Wilson, oh no, this is Bob Lemon batting. Sorry. Bob Lemon's contact rating is a three. So we're going over here to three, and then we're going to go to 376 when it's going to be a strikeout. The apropos, no runs, nobody stranded. Here. Okay, bottom of the second. Go down there and hit that like button. Put some remarks down there. You guys like season ticket baseball? Or do you have a project going with it? What is it? I like to hear from you guys. Uh, and uh, 
you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. It really helps the channel grow by subscribing, putting remarks in there. And if you subscribe, there's doesn't cost you a penny and there's no commitment. Here's Wayne Causey, the third baseman, leading off the bottom of the second for Baltimore. 350, 350. And there's a, he beats out an infield hit. No, oh, this time they got the first guy on. Hal Smith, the catcher, coming up here. Hal had a oh, very little pop, only four. But he had a fair bat and average, 271. Okay, we got a 272. 272 versus the right. He makes it of 552. Okay, so now we're going to be checking the third baseman for them which is Al Rosen, and 552, because it changes the numbers. 552, and it's out 552. Five, yeah, 5-3, five, so the runner will advance. Okay, runner in scoring position for Chuck Deering, the center fielder. Chuck missed that inside the park. Ball, that ball bounced off the wall and bounced right back past him. Couldn't get it in time to get a veal out at first. Three sixteen. He struck him out. Not only does he misjudge a ball in the first, he misjudges a, hit the ball by hit not hitting it in the second. Here's Willie Miranda, two on or one on two outs. Four sixty six. Four sixty six, and that's a five three, and they go down again. None on stranded one. We're going to the top of the third. Okay, moving along here. An elimination. Baltimore fans have packed the house. A lot of people from Cleveland have traveled for to watch this game live. Here's the top of the order. L. Smith grounded out the third at first time. And we got another five coming. Oh, another rare play. 507. Are you kidding me? How many times are we going to get the rare plays? Time out. Yeah, I hope that wasn't paused for all that other time. So here comes another rare play roll. Two in two innings. <clears throat> this is Al Smith this time. This time we got a 467. Let's go over here and check it out. See what it says. I'll read it to you. That's a single or right. If the white die is higher than the right fielder's arm, six. The right fielder's arm for, the, for Baltimore. We're going to go here because I put that on the sheets. Right fielder, where we got? His arm is a six, so it's not higher than the six. No, I got to find more. I wasn't a page again. Yeah. And he would have advanced a second on a fielding error, but it was uh, he not, but it wasn't. It's just a base hit. All right. Exciting stuff on this rare play charts. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here he is, Bobby Avila. Bang that one over Deering's head in the first inning. Rounded the bases for an inside the park home run. And we got a 549. This is uh, their second baseman. And their second baseman is Marsh. And we're going 549. Oh, and he commits an error. All right, so the runner's going to advance to second. And we got runners on first and second. And we're going E4. Bob Lemon's going, what are you guys? And it's, no, not Lemon. Jim Wilson So what are you guys doing to me? Larry Doby, dangerous hitter. 6-33. 6-33. They are not the home team, so they don't get the five. 6-3-3. 6-3-3. Shallow fly out to center. Al Rosen. Another one, five six two. Now the shortstop are checking. <clears throat> and that's uh, Miranda. Willie Miranda, five six two, five six two, five six two. And that's a double play, six four three. And they are getting out of the jam. Six four three DP. Okay, but they did strand one. We're going to the bottom of the third.
lemon back out on the mound. And their pitcher, Wilson, batting. Okay, 180, 180. One, and there's a blue base hit by the pitcher in the right. They're getting guys on every inning. They just can't make nothing of it. And here's Fred Marsh. Grounded out to second his first time. Oh, we got a 110 this time. 110 turns it to 310. So we're going over here to 310. Struck him out. I like how this, this, some of these things change the numbers. <clears throat> season ticket. Jim, well, there's a lot of things I like about season ticket, but that's one of them. Jim Dyke. Okay. 6 11 plus 5 because they're the home team. So 6 16. 6 1 6. That's a pop out the second. We'll just make it a P4. Two down. Dave Philly. Dave single his first time. 103. 103 makes it 303. We're going over to 303 and we got another strikeout. So again, they have. Got guys on every inning so far, but they haven't been able to do nothing with them. We are going to the top of the fourth, and it's still a one to nothing game. Nobody's stamina is in. The, and yeah, Jim Wilson is pitching here. He's got six stamina anyway. I explain the stamina when we get to one of them. L. Rosen. <clears throat> no, what am I talking about? It's a Ralph Kiner in the top of the fourth for Cleveland. 559. I'm getting a lot of checks on these today. That's Causey, I believe. Yeah, five. Okay, so he's the third baseman, 559. That's an error and a third baseman. Boy, that's two errors, two innings in a row that they have committed errors. E5. Okay. Must have been a bad error. Kiner wasn't very fast in his day, so he beat it out. Thick words. Okay, 625, and they're the visitors. Let's see what we got under 625. 625, and that's a pop fly out to short. George Strickland, the shortstop. And we got another five. Five, one, two. And that's the pitcher's card. <clears throat> five, one, two. Five, one, two. And he's out 1-3. The runner's going to advance. Jim Hegan, catcher. 268. Two, and Jim Hegan is a righty. 268. 268 versus a righty. That's a fly out the right. <clears throat> Nobody on. Stranded another one. Baltimore coming up here in the bottom of the fourth, is it? Yes, it is. Gus Triandos. Will they get another guy on base this inning? 333. 333. And that's uh, just a fly out to right because there's nobody on base. Wayne Causey. Committed an error last time, last night while in the field. 584. Boy, I'm getting a lot of checks, defensive check. That's five. That's Larry Doby. 584. That's a fly out to center. Guys, it was a deep fly because they would have advanced if they were on base. Hell Smith. 297. 297 versus the righty. Oh, we're going deep for the first time. Okay, and this is Baltimore. All right, so and when we go deep, we're going to take the power rating of Hale Smith. His power is a three. Okay, and we're going to need plus the one for the temperature, so that makes that four. And we're going to roll these two dice. And then what did I say he was going deep left? Yeah, deep left. Okay. So we're going to roll these two dice. There's no wind to affect it. We're going 10, 
plus the 4 is 14. We're going down to deep left, 14, 14. That's a, just a long fly out the left. <clears throat> and that's three outs. They hit one in every outfield position at any. Nobody's stranded. Going to the top of the fifth. Smith thought he might have had a dinger, but he hit it too high. Got underneath the ball a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, here's L. Smith. No relation to hell. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Bob Lemon. What am I doing here? Oh, I, I see what I did. Put the wrong card up there. And he's a six. So here's Lemon. Batting. 372. What did I say his contact was? Lemon's contact rating is a three. So that's not very good. Three, 372 struck him out. Pretty apropos, though. And here's Al Smith. He was on deck yelling that nasty stuff to the catcher. Oh, boy. 698. Okay, so 698. This is Cleveland. They don't get the visitors. So we're going to 698 up here. 698. Oh, and that only draws a walk. Woof. Al says, I didn't like that. If it had been a five, it had been a five, it had been, if it had been a home team, it had got five. It would have been a one deep to center. But he draws the walk. Second time he's been on base today. Single the other time he got on. Here's Bobby Avila, who's one for two. Been on twice. Got on with an error last night. Uh, 422. 422 versus the right. He struck him out. Two down. And Larry Doby. 107. 107. Makes it 307. Coming over to the 307. That's the danger side. Struck him out also. They stranded their fifth runner. Okay, we're going to go to the top of the sixth. No, what am I doing? The bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> and after this inning, Lemon will be eligible for fatigue. We'll get to there. Okay, here's Chuck Deering. <clears throat> 349. 349, that's a ground out to short. Change, you change it from 6-4 to 6-3. Willie Miranda. 6-69. This is the home team, so that makes it 6-74. Going up here to the chart, right up on the top. That's a wild pitch. Nobody on base. <clears throat> Still pitching to Miranda. 4-55. And it's a fly out to right of center. And then here's Lemon. No, John Wilson. Jim Wilson. 349. Jim Wilson's contact is a two. So we're going here to 349. Struck him out. One, two, three. So I'll explain that the... Uh, Fatigue on Lemon when I come back out because he reached there. Okay, here we go to the top of the sixth. I didn't do this right. Okay, top of the sixth. Jim Wilson, no fatigue this inning. He's, he'll be eligible next inning. Here's Al Rosen. 144, 144, 144 is a fly out to the left. Ralph Kiner, 687, <clears throat> he doesn't get no, no bonus on that, 687, but it's a base hit, Kiner gets on for the third time, walk, got on with an error, now he gets a base hit, mm -hmm. a nice day, Al. Uh, Ralph, here comes Vic Wirtz, one out and one on, 181, 181, that's a wild pitch. We're going to move that runner in the scoring position. Man, still pitching the works. Okay, 1-1-1. One, 1-1-1. One, one. One, one, one. This makes it 3-1-1. One, 3-1-1 one, one. is a strikeout. 
It's two down, run around second for Strickland. They sure would like to have some more insurance runs. They don't like this one to nothing game. 552, checking the third baseman, Causey. 552, five, that's a ground out the third, 5 3. Got my heater blowing there. It's blowing the papers around here. No runs, but they stranded one again. They've stranded uh, six guys right. I believe it. Okay, here we go with Baltimore. All right. Get myself together here. Okay, so Bob Lemon's on the mound. And he's eligible for T. That means that any guy who gets a hit, a walk, an intentional walk, gets on base. I might get one of these fatigue marks for every one. And then if the guys go deep, they get plus 10. <clears throat> okay. They get, you know, right here, they get add 10 per pitcher fatigue. So you can get up here into this danger stuff real quickly. All right. So here we go. Yeah. Fred Marsh leading off the top of the sixth for Baltimore. Bottom of the sixth. Excuse me. Let me double check. So that's it. Is. Bottom of the six for Baltimore. Baltimore fans getting a little nervous here. This is a real pitching duel. Okay. We got a 121. 121. That's a ground out the first. He's just going to toss it over to the pitcher covering. And Marsh is out. Jim Dyke. 243. Two forty three. And it's a ground out the second, 4-3. And Dave Philly. Dave's one for two. Got him really rolling here. <laughs> I don't use the thing when I do this. I like to roll them dice. Four, 460. 460. 460 versus the righty. And there's a double for Dave Philly. And Baltimore has a guy in scoring position. And that gives him lemon one fatigue. Piece for one fatigue level of mark. mark. Okay, here we go. Triandos. 541. We're checking the Vila. 541. Okay, come on, Avila. Where you are. 541, and that's a ground out to the second. And that retires the side. Nobody, no runs. One stranded. They stranded their fourth one. Okay, Wilson back on the mound for the seventh. Now he is eligible for fatigue because fatigue, it was six. They have fatigue levels on here. The first one is like when he's a starter, that's when he's a reliever. He's almost like a long reliever. He's got a four fatigue as a reliever. Okay, here we go. And it's uh, Cleveland at the plate. George Strickland. The show. No, it was Strickland. I remember he did make the last out. Jim Hegan. Three seventy four, three seventy four, and it's a pop out the first. And here we go with the pitcher, Lemon. Four ninety nine, four ninety nine, and this is his I rating. That's what's Lemon's I rating. His I rating is a seven. Wow. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, but he's a pretty good hitting pitcher, seven. So we're going 499. Oh, and that's just a long fly out to right. <clears throat> the hits are up here with contact, not under eye. Okay, Al Smith. 113, 113, 313, 313 is a strikeout. How many times have we had that today? It's none and none. We're going to the bottom of the seventh, folks. Well, I'm back out there. The bottom of the seventh. It should be the third baseman, Causey, up. And it is. Six twenty-six. So that'll be six thirty-one because they're on a home team. Six thirty-one, and that's a fly out the center. Hell Smith. 
298. 298. Here we go. We're going in his verses already. We're going deep left again. Now, remember, Lemon has one of these. Oh, so that doesn't count on that. All right. So we got Hal Smith. Who, he had one before, the long one before. He's got a power rating of three plus the one for the temperature. So that makes it four. We're going to roll these two dice here. That's a lot better. That's 18 plus 2 is 22. We're going down to the deep left, 22. And this game is tied. A solo shot by Hale Smith. This time he did not get underneath it. And one RBI. And, he does. and that's Bob Lemon with two fatigue now. That's not real good. Okay, and here we go. Chuck Deering. <clears throat> Center fielder. 209. 209 against the righty. Struck him out. Two down. Got uh, two runs scored in this game, both solo home runs. One was inside the park and one was outside. Willie Miranda. 337. 337. He beats out an infield hit. And that's going to bring up Wilson, and they're going to time out because they're going to be called. They've got the bullpen warm up. They're going to be calling in a pinch hitter. Okay, we have two out here in the bottom of the eighth. One run in and one run batter on, and Dave Pope is the pinch hitter for the pitcher, Wilson. One thirty-one. One thirty-one, and that's a fly out the left. They didn't manage to get one run. They stranded one. So it's one to one. The top of the eighth. George Zuverink is the new pitcher for Baltimore. He's at two fatigue, so he can he can pitch both innings in it. But here's Bobby Avila leading off here in the top of the eighth for Cleveland. In a tie game now. We got a 278, 278. Look out, we're going deep. And Bobby's a righty. We're going deep left against the Vila. Against Uberink, his first batter. So we've got we got a five power. We're going deep left. We're gonna add to one. So that's a six, makes it a six power. And twelve is so that's going to be 18. We're going down here to 18. Is a deep right to the wall fly out the left. Oof. Vila thought he had that one. Okay, Larry Doby. Okay, we're going 639, but that's not going to get him into the D part. 639. And, and there's no fatigue on on Zuverink. So it's 639 is fly out the center. And El Rosa. Well, a scary die. Guy put it out of the park. 238. 238. And that's going to be a ground out 6 3. No runs and nobody stranded. Okay, Lemon's still out there, bottom of the eighth. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fred Marsh. Well, he's got two in it. That's pretty dangerous. One more, and I might be taking them out. I get a little nervous with those fatigue ones on there. 440. 440. He struck him out. Marsh not having a good game either. This top, top, neither one of these top two batters have got on. Big advance. We might have to do something with this lineup. 280, and he is a righty. 280, 280, 280. Versus, he's going deep left. This is Jim Dyke now, okay? Wow. These guys are all threatening. This is Baltimore. Dyke is a, a one power. So head to one is two. He can hit one, but he needs some really good rolls here. He's got 12 and 2 is 14. That's just going to be a fly out the left. Okay, 
you know, Dave uh, Philly. Dave's one for two for three. 291, 291, he's going deep left. We got them things going down. He's got a five power, so the one makes it a six. Can Philly pull it, punch it out? Uh oh, 17 and six is 23. It's gone. Dave Philly with another solo home run in this game. Wow. Philly, what a nice day. Three for four. He just gave them the lead run. <clears throat> okay, and Triandos with two outs now. This is the bottom of the eighth. 168. 168, and they're staying alive. He bloops another base hit into the center. <clears throat> oh, these are fatigues, too. Huh? No, it's not. Oh, that is lemons fatigue. Well, we gotta be careful now. That's because that's four. We're gonna have one more batter. One more batter. If he gets on, he's done. Hal Smith has been hitting the ball pretty hard. It's not been not doing all that well. Three fifty-three. Three, five, three, and there's a ground out to third. Five three. But they got one run and they stranded one. We're going to the top of the ninth. Zubering out there for the win now. Okay, here we go. Ralph Kiner. Got, some, got a couple guys here that can pop it to tie it up. A Kiner. And he got a 628. Oh, it's Cleveland. 628. And 628 is a fly out to center. Or is it a oh, that's short. Pop out. The, we'll just make it a pop out to short. Vic Wirtz. Vic hit 14 homers during the season. 413. 413 versus the righty draws the walk. Zuverink still not. Uh, this is, is, would be his life. If he had to pitch another inning, he'd be in there for. And here's Strickland. 430. Oh, look at this, folks. Six, four, six, or six, four, three, DP. Game is over. Wow. What a good game. I'll be right back. And the final was two to one. Baltimore wins that one. Okay. Their pitching did pretty well. They, they only let up three hits the entire game. One was that inside the park home run by Bobby Avila. So Wayne Zuverick, who came in in relief here, uh, got the win as they were down one to nothing. They scored a home, hit a home run this inning and that in Baltimore managed to get together five, eight hits against Bob Lemon. Two were solo home runs. So Baltimore will be advancing to the semifinals here in the best of three, the best of five series, and they'll be playing the winner of Detroit and Chicago. So watch for season ticket baseball on the channel. Hope you enjoyed the game. So Cal Saber saying, hit that like button on your way out. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other and stay safe.